All right, YouTube, what's up? Let's get right into the video. This video is going to be a shoe collection video updated. Well, I've actually never really done this. I did a, a closet tour kind of a while back, but I've never really done um, like a shoe collection video. So, yeah, let's get right into it. I don't know if I already said this, but I am filming on my new camera right now as we speak. I'm not using the iPhone anymore. So if there is like a little difference, you know, it's because of that. So <clears throat> yeah, hopefully it's better for you guys. I do have a mic for it and everything. So, you know, hopefully the sound and all that is, you know, a little better. I've been trying to, you know, upgrade the quality for you guys. So yeah, let's get right into it. The Balenciaga steroid boot. Now this boot right here, I don't even know what to say, man. I mean, it's humongous. I get a lot of compliments. I get a lot of stares, you know. Uh, I get a lot of people, you know, joke around with me, say it looks like a cartoon boot and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, I don't even know if I was just in frame, so my bad. But, yeah, I, hopefully I was. But, yeah, Balenciaga steroid boot, first shoe of the collection. Um, yeah. Let's get right into the next shoe. The next shoe I kind of just want to get out of the way, you know, not really too interesting, but it is kind of cool. Um, it's my Christian Louboutin red bottoms uh, with the spikes on them. I use these or I wear them like, you know, when I go out, you know, somewhere fancy or whatever, like a restaurant, you know, something to eat, you know, formal stuff like that. So, yeah. Get that one out of the way. Let's get right on to the next shoe. The next shoe, this was actually one of my first Balenciaga boots, I think. Uh, and it's the Balenciaga Bulldozer boot, but it is the low top version. Um, I think it's it goes with a lot more, you know, more compatible, uh, portable, I guess. But, yeah. Fell in love with the uh, sole of this shoe, the Bulldozer sole. So, yeah. To show you guys i did get these for a pretty good deal so yeah let's get on right on to the next shoe i don't want to make this a super long video you know just kind of showcasing my collection but yeah the next shoe we have here is the interesting one this is the balenciaga techno clog um yeah there's a whole lot to say about this shoe i mean you can see the shape of it a lot of people say this looks like a leprechaun boot or something like that, or like a, a a vintage clog, you know, something that they would wear in the Middle East or something like that. So I think it's really interesting. Definitely a conversation starter for sure. Um, but yeah, Balenciaga Techno Clog. I did get this one uh, on sale too. It was on discount. Still was a hefty price, but... Yeah, to me, honestly, I'd say this one was worth it. I really do love this shoe. So, yeah, on to the next one. The next shoe we have here in my collection is the Balenciaga Alaska Boot. I did just get these not too long ago. And uh, something you might notice is they do have resemblance to the steroid boot, which I am going to make another video on that if I haven't already, you know, showcasing the... Uh, the differences between the two and everything like that, you know, in depth. But uh, yeah, Balenciaga Alaska boot. Yeah, <laughs> let's get right on to the next one. The next one is probably my favorite right now, and it's because it's it's a really interesting one. It's the Rick Owens Lunar boot, but it's in this green colorway, and it actually has a purple insole. I did make a, a separate video on this, you know, showcasing the whole shoe. But yeah, really interesting shoe. It is pretty much the last shoe in my collection. So yeah, you guys can see all my shoes here. I do have other shoes, but they, you know, aren't as of the same interest, I guess. Uh, so for that point, I won't be showing them in today's video. But yeah, it's the last one. Kind of wanted to just try out my new camera, you know, make a quick little video. But yeah, 
thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please subscribe. It's only like 2% of people that watch my videos are subscribed, which kind of sucks, but you know, I can't, for <laughs> I can't force you or anything, but if you did like the video, subscribe, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one.